In this video, we're going to be drawing linear graphs using the gradient y-intercept method. To do that, you need to watch the video on y equals mx plus c, first of all. Uh, just to recap, uh, if you've got a graph, a linear graph, in the format y equals mx plus c, m stands for the gradient, so in other words, if you go across one square, how many up or down it goes, and c stands for the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis. So if I wanted to draw the graph y equals 2x plus 1, first of all, I would start off with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is, is 1, okay? So that means it crosses the y-axis here, okay? Next, the gradient. The gradient is 2. That means that if I go across one square, like so, I go up 2 to here. I go across one, I go up to 2, and so on. I go uh, left one, and I go down two, and so on. So it looks like that. So every time you go across one, up two, across one, up two, across one, up two. And finally, you just need to draw the graph then. So you just get your ruler, put it through the points, and draw a nice straight line through those points. So we've just drawn the graph, y equals 2x plus 1, using the gradient y-intercept method. Let's do another one. Okay, this time we're going to draw y equals x minus 3. Remember y equals x minus 3, the gradient here in front of the x would be 1. Okay, so it's y equals 1x minus 3. So the minus 3 is the y-intercept, so it crosses the y-axis at minus 3. And the gradient, because it's x, if it's just x, it's going to be 1x, so the gradient is 1. So that means if you go across 1, you go up 1. Across 1, go up 1. Across 1, go up 1, and so on. So then just get your ruler, put it through those points. and draw a nice straight line through them, like so. So that would be the graph y equals x minus 3. Okay, this time we're going to draw the graph y equals minus 2x plus 3. So this time the y-intercept is 3, but the gradient is minus 2. That means as you go across 1, you go down 2. So let's start off with the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is uh, 3, so we're going to put the y-intercept here. Uh, the gradient is minus 2, that means if you go across 1, you go down 2. Across 1, go down 2. Across one, go down two. So you've got your points, so you just get your ruler, draw a nice straight line through them, and then that's the graph y equals minus 2x plus 3. Like so. Okay, and let's do one last example. Okay, this time we're going to draw the graph y equals a half x plus 1. So the y intercept is plus 1, so 1, so put the y intercept there. The gradient is a half, that means as you go across one, you go up a half. Um, I tend not to put this point here because you don't know exactly where it's going to be. You know, it's, it's a bit sort of a bit of guesswork where you're going to put on this line. So what actually, because it's the gradient to half, that means as you go across one, you go up a half. If you go across another one, you'd go up to here. You'd go up, um, you go up one over the course of two going across, okay? Um, so go across one, up a half, across one, and then you would get to the, the um, value three, across one, up to three and a half, across one, up to four, and so on. So you then uh, get your ruler, put it through the points, and draw a nice straight line through those points. And then we've just drawn the graph, y equals a half x plus one.